Welcome back, July 17th, 6.30 in the evening, it's high tide, we are at Banana Bay, it's Tracy's last night, here she is, and Palmer's on her lap, and Tracy goes home tomorrow, the kids and I are staying, uh, Banana Bay, the restaurant is in our background, and so is Tatum, Tatum, give me a wave, there's Tatum. She does not a big fan of the beach, much more of a pool kid. She gets that from her mom's side of the family. But there's Banana Bay Restaurant. This place is amazing at low tide when the sun is coming out. But uh, we're getting one last view for Tracy uh, before she heads back to Ohio, which is like the complete opposite of what we're currently looking at. We got the place to ourselves. Some Italians walked by a little bit ago, told us chow. We gave them a chow back. But, uh, it's amazing. There's nobody out here, I mean, even on the water. There's uh, no boats. We haven't uh, we haven't seen a boat in a while. And uh, it is kind of a cloudy day. It's been kind of a cloudy day all day today. But uh, this is Tracy's favorite beach, and it's got the the sandbar. You can walk out for forever on um, if, if Tracy were coming for one day to Grand Bahama I would imagine this is where she's stopping yes. I'm going to Gold Rocks Beach you gotta pay to go to Gold Rocks Beach but Gold Rocks Beach is where they film Pirates of the Caribbean uh, or parts of Pirates of the Caribbean uh, I don't know which one of them was filmed out at Gold Rocks but that's in the Lucayan National Park the Lucayan people are the indigenous people to the Bahamas, at least to the Grand Bahama. Uh, I believe they disappeared. I think Christopher Columbus, when he showed up in 1492, he may have taken them, but don't quote me on that. But uh, may have taken them elsewhere. So anyway, Lucayan National Park, uh, quite a ways down. Uh, you got to pay $11 per adult, $6 per kid. I want to say five and under is free. So we didn't have to pay for Palmer, but we had to pay for all the other kids. But they actually made us a deal. I think we paid $22. Just made us pay for the adults. So anyway, that's my favorite beach, Gold Rocks Beach. Uh, but the Banana Bay is Tracy's favorite. You can walk out, knee, knee height, the whole way out. Um, and then you can grab lunch. Um, I have found that lunch or dinner in the Bahamas is a cheeseburger, some conch fritters. Quesadilla. Um, here at Banana Bay, they have uh, the world famous banana bread. It was, it was good. It was good. And the Kong fritters were not terrible. Um, but uh, yeah, the, uh, if you're looking for fine dining, you're on the wrong island. If you're looking for amazing beaches, you found it. So, like I said, Gold Rocks is my favorite. Uh, banana Bay, probably my second favorite. I do like the idea that you can walk all the way out there. Uh, the boys love it. And you got the place to yourself. You go to Taino Beach, I think a lot of people come in on a cruise ship, so I've never come in on a cruise ship. My aunt and uncle have a house here, so we don't uh, we don't have to do that. We try to avoid Taino Beach on the days when the cruise ships come. Uh, lots of people there. Nobody here. Uh, and Taino Beach empties out, but the cruise ships are not here, so. Uh, my favorite restaurant's there at the at Tano Beach, which is the Stone Crab. Um, really it was really good. Uh, but again, I don't know if the food here has like set my bar a lot down, down a lot lower, but uh, I thought the Stone Crab was, was the best food we've had. Uh, some other restaurants, my aunt tells me that Cappuccino's is really good, and uh, her neighbor told me to go to Cappuccino's as well. Uh, we have not been to Cappuccino's yet. The kids and I have got a few more days. I doubt we go to Cappuccino's because I'm not an Italian fan. Cappuccino's is an Italian restaurant. But I'll tell you, I've seen a lot of Italian people here. Um, we just had some Italian folks walk past us. Uh, so uh, maybe give it a look, right? Give out, give Cappuccino's a try. Uh, for breakfast, if I'm here and I'm looking for an American-style breakfast, we actually had to go to a Greek restaurant. Uh, name of the place. Sorbus. 
called Zorba's. It's in Port Lucaya. I don't like going to Port Lucaya. People are trying to sell you stuff. I don't want any of it. We got this thing back home called Amazon. I can get all that stuff on there if I need it. A lot cheaper, and I don't have to negotiate. But our kids do like walking around, looking at all the stuff that the folks have to sell. But you're going to get hounded and, hey, can I get the girl's hair braided? Can I, you know, whatever. But uh, anyway, uh, Zorba's is probably the best American breakfast. Um, I, I try to shy, shy away from the bacon. I, I, I take my bacon seriously. Um, the sausage wasn't bad. Uh, the bacon not at the, you're not in the United States anymore, so, uh, but I think Zorba is probably the best breakfast on the island, uh, but again, if I'm coming in on a cruise ship, uh, hit Banana Bay, uh, hit, uh, Gold Rocks Beach out of Port Lucaya, or out of the Lucaya National Park, uh, I think a lot of people end up at Port Lucaya, like you're wasting your time there, uh, Bishop's in a long way. I would, I would definitely hit up Banana Bay. Then you got the restaurant. They've got a shower over there if you want to hit uh, a fresh water shower because this water is really salty, as you may know. But uh, they got great frozen drinks, great pina coladas. Um, and then this, man, when the sun's out, this place is, look at this. I mean, this place is just incredible. There is a lot of seagrass. Don't, don't be scared of the seagrass. Seagrass isn't going to hurt you, but it does wash up on shore. Um, out there on the... Uh, uh, on the sandbar. You don't have to worry about the seagrass. But there's great things to see out there in the seagrass. You'll see sea urchins, sea biscuits. Uh, you'll be able to reach down and grab a sea biscuit. Uh, my kids have been pulling up sea biscuits for, for the last two weeks. So uh, plenty of plenty of stuff for you to see. Lots of little fish. You got the polarized sunglasses. You'll have no problem seeing them. Uh, but uh, we saw a stingray out here the other day. Uh, but yeah, uh, highly recommend Banana Bay. So. My second favorite beach, this lady's, this lady over here's favorite. She's drinking Sands. You see her drinking the Sands beer? Uh, Sands beer brewed here on Grand Bahama. Uh, so they push it. Most places you go, uh, to me it reminds me of a milder Corona. Take it with a lime. She's drinking a grapefruit version. It's only like 2% alcohol. So uh, I'm more of a Sands straight up uh, lager type of person. Uh, but they do have some fruitier options when it comes to the sands. Uh, another beer of the Bahamas is Kalik. Uh, it is, but it was bought out by Imbev, so uh, it's not truly the Bahamian beer. So if you hear people talking about the sands, they're talking about uh, they're talking about the truly 100% Bahamian brewed beer. Uh, it's sands. So anyway, I've rambled on enough. Hopefully, you got a little smarter. Have a great day. If you get to if you get to Grand Bahama, I think that uh, Banana Bay's got to be on your list, right? I mean, if you're here more than a day or two, I mean, if I'm just here for a day, I'm probably hitting up Banana Bay. Um, Taino Beach is great, but Taino Beach is crowded. Uh, like I said, I've been talking to you for nine minutes now, and not one boat's come by, not one airplane flying over to tell me to, you know, go to this restaurant or that restaurant, and not one person has walked past me. Not one. We got the whole place. Except for those two kids down there and their mom. And they're, those kids are snorkeling to look at the to look at the fish. Uh, even during the day, when it gets hopping, it ain't hopping. I mean, it's it's Bahamas hopping, which is, there's 12 people on the beach, right? So, highly encourage Banana Bay if you're only here for a day. Uh, get your taxi driver to take you to Banana Bay. Hang out here. Um, it is... It's one of those beaches that is like Instagram worthy, right? Like you're going to take a photo of. Uh, so uh, here comes my dash. Dash, give him, give him some deuces. Ah. Later.